Elemental damage is pretty straightforward. With each hit that you do, if your weapon has an element, you're going to deal potentially elemental damage to the monster. The elemental damage that you do is the number shown on your equipment screen divided by 10. So if it says 350, it's actually 35. And depending on the monster and the body part that you hit, you're going to deal anywhere from absolutely nothing to about 35% or so in actual damage. For Seregios, for example, fire does 15% against his back, but zero everywhere else. You'll still do physical damage though, but he's most weak to thunder, so you'll do 25% of your thunder as damage to his head, 20 to the stomach and legs, 15 else elsewhere, and 10% of that to the tail. So let's say you were using the final Zenogre Lance. It's got 270 raw physical attack and 400 thunder and also purple sharpness with sharpness plus one. Elemental damage like physical also gets a boost from your sharpness. So this is something to keep in mind. Purple sharpness will raise your elemental attack by 20%. This is actually quite a big difference. So 400, which is 40 damage, times the sharpness modifier of 20% is 48 thunder damage. And 35% for the major weak spot for him would end up being 16 damage of thunder to his head, 7 to his stomach and legs, and elsewhere. Physical damage is much, much higher. So for example, the upward lance thrust would do 30 to the head, 51 to the stomach, and 43 for the legs. And while element is weaker than physical, it does add up. For example, you see me doing the double hit with the shield thrust here. So each one of those hits is the same elemental damage every time, so it adds up pretty fast. So if you're using the right element, you can overcome and do more damage than a weapon with slightly higher raw. You can look online for stuff like Kiraniko or Ping's decks for elemental weakness stats for each monster. You're a hunter, so please don't feel bad about going online and looking stuff up. This is what being a good hunter is all about. Also for fun, you can look at the elemental resistance of an armor part and get a very good idea of what element each monster is weak to. Until for you, the only physical damage got a boost from critical hits, which is plus 25%. But there is a new armor skill called Crit Element, which gives the element a boost as well. It's only useful for weapons that have a positive affinity, which means that they can actually land critical hits. But here you can see how much it actually increases the damage for each one of those critical hits. These are great with Shagato weapons, which have very high affinity. There is a skill called, for example, Dragon Attack Plus, that has three different tiers. Plus 1 gives you 5%, plus 40 plus 2, 10% plus 60, and plus 3 gives you 15% plus 90. So let's take the Stygian uh, Greatsword. It's got 55 raw dragons, shown as 550. With Dragon Attack 1, that becomes 610. With Dragon Attack plus 2, that becomes 660. And with Dragon of Plus 3, it becomes a mass of 720. And there's a lot of charms in this game that give you a lot of these whatever element attack plus, so this is a good thing to go for. There is a general elemental attack up skill that raises any elemental power by 10%. However, you must know that there is a cap for how much that you can boost your base element, which is 20%. So while plus 3 was 720, if we add attack up for element on top of that, it's only 750, so it's only 30, so it's not worth it. Also know that some weapons have elemental powers that are grayed out, or status. This means that you need this skill Awaken in order to use them. It is worth noting though that for switch axe only, when you're in the sword mode, you will have auto awaken. So for example, if you're using the axe here, which has a grayed out dragon, you're not going to get anything. But when you go into sword mode, you'll start to see the element effect on your switch axe. It's a nice little trick and it's, it's something interesting to keep in mind. There's much more to elemental damage if you want to get really detailed, 
but I think this covers the basics, so I hope this helps you enjoy the game just a little bit more. Happy hunting and thanks for following.